Howdy Pokemon trainers and welcome back to the hunt. Now I could go on about how it's nice to all be talking to you guys again, but let's be honest, it hasn't really been no more than a week. The episode's going to be up at the same time. It's just I've been taking a gap in recording. So without any further ado, let's me show you what I did in between episodes and we can get into the main adventure for today. It's a odd commodity, but I actually have something planned out for this episode. For one, you can see that I finally built myself my mine. I did do some improvements and continued building up the structure of my other farmhouse. My gigantic greenhouse. Why do I keep calling it a farmhouse? Point being... Other than that, I did get a load of more glyphs to use. A necromancer. Only takes one shot. Hmm. Okay, if it's not clear, I may have done some improvements to my projectile bolt spell. Here we have my mind so far. I got a coal generator, and I got my inner generator, iron generator. Then I have the crusher, which you may not think is really good, but actually, if I'm gonna do anything, might as well start crushing a stack of coal. Point being, that one coal block will be turned into three coal ore, or three coal pieces. Point being, that's basically what this thing does, and it basically makes the fuel source for all my farms up top and all my mines soon to be in this hall so sufficient. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I have to create 14 more farms. Right, wait, no, there's only 12 here. My bad, I only need to create 10 more. One for copper, glowstone, lapis, redstone, amethyst, gold, quartz, diamond, emeralds, and of course, I need to create one for ender debris. But I know the rain is bad, I know it's nasty, but look on the bright side. We're not going to be dealing with it this episode. This episode, I plan to do some stuff in the actual mine area. Do some exploring, do some general mining, that kind of stuff. But before I forget, I also plan to work my way over here. Because I don't know if that is or isn't... Oh no, my bad. Over there. So let me just quickly set a waypoint. W, engage, disable, destination, confirm. W is 300 blocks that way. So let's get going. Now... I'm not really sure if I should keep my bolt spell equipped or if I should keep my lumino spell equipped. But either way, I guess I could always just quickly transfer between the two of them. Okay, um... Well, dead end. When one door closes, time to plow through 
Ooh, and make your own path. Well, at least I found more iron. That's, this is the perfect opportunity for me to try out a new type of spell I gained. Hmm. I won't give it some kind of maging thing, but evaporation, create. Oh, who am I kidding? Oh, for the love of... Okay, this is getting awkward. Yep. The video's pace just came to a snail's crawl. And as I already said, for some reason the water physics in this mod pack is amplified, so if it's not clear, even if I wanted to do something, I really can't do it. Lumino, okay. This place is massive. Let's start walking around. Oh, come on. Uh, there we are. Even a new fire scroll. Blaze storm. Copper backpack. You know what? Just take everything and shove it away. Okay, where is my destination? Still 100 blocks out. Actually, while I'm here, might as well take out the iron pickaxe and do some quick gold mining. Since this stuff is everywhere. And I do believe I need 20 blocks of raw iron, a uh, raw gold, in order to. What are you? Need Lumino spells. Dead end. 
bit of a pain if you ask me. But, you know what? Actually, I see a couple more minecarts. No offense, but free loot's free loot. Okay, back to the backpack. Ah, there we are. Another backpack and a ring. Beef. Here I was worried that I wouldn't have enough storage to take on a dungeon. What's with the fire dragon? I don't see any dens around here. Okay, that is definitely a dragon and it's definitely pissed off. So where's its den? If I'm not mistaken, I should see a buttload of gold if it, it's from underground. Maybe the mine shaft summoned right on top of where the fire dragon was. Or since it's above me, maybe I'm just too low to see the actual lair. Either way, it doesn't matter because I'm just going to keep on going in the way I was. Come on. That is one angry dragon. Not like he can get through the floor and hurt me, but still. Okay, this way. Done goofing around. Time to get right back to what I need to do.
Amanda. Okay, that's some sort of dungeon down there. Well, structure, definitely. Well, time to switch from Luminos to... Actually, forget Luminos for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to see you guys, too. Did I just break a piece of my armor? Well, either way, it doesn't matter. I just need to locate where these darn... Okay, back to Luminos. To be followed up by basically lighting up this entire cave. Just drop me so I can start mining this. Oh, sorry, doggy. On the cave? Oh, give me a break, zombie. Undead hooligans. Oops, my bad. Oh, 
like, why does that keep happening? Is the key binding funky for some reason? I'm sick and tired of being in the dark. Shine like diamond. I'm using luminos. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Gluttony. Okay, that's a neat spell. Having an iron sword may come in handy if I ever have to get through cobwebs again. Okay. Now all I need to do is... Luminel. Uh, I don't like that, guys. I don't look at the, like that look of that guy. That guy just got behind me, then. Come on, my pack's gone. You can't really hold, hold me to the same standards. Hi, Rumba. Build, smash, bolt. I need to lower them into a place where I can see them all. Because at the moment... Okay, let's start taking off the leak weaklings. Okay, must have gotten another zombie staff of undying. Oh, summons a zombie. Actually, would that be Aiden me trying to get the zombie trophy? Okay. Better question.
hundred blocks that way. Cockroach wing fragment. Diamonds. Why do I keep just avoiding doing this? Plus one armor, confirm. Actually, I never bothered checking which piece of my armor did I bring. Uh, my helmet. To be fair, the rest of my armor is not that far from doing it either, which means I'll need to either kill another dragon to get enough scales, or unfortunately accept that my dragon armor is just going to be my one of my last sets I get. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm going to get, oh, get more dragon scales. Okay, I'm guessing you're a cockroach then. Okay, what I need to do is go straight up. First thing though is Lumino. Okay. Oh, a goblin trader. Forge build. Wait, where did my iron pick go? Never mind. Okay, shift. was not nice. Not nice at all. Ooh. Raw goodies of all sorts. I guess I can also take that. Now let me hurry over back to this place.
and shove everything I just got in my backpack. Well, almost everything. There should be no reason I can't just store away those two items in here. I'm still 60 blocks too far or down. means I'm gonna have to mine straight up in order to get to where I'm going and by the record mining straight up is just as dangerous as mining straight down if anything it's more dangerous because if you're mining straight down at least you have a chance to clutch yourself with a block if you're quick enough In my case scenario, this is going to be pretty much deadly, and if I don't do it right, more so. I feel like I'm gonna get into a war when I get out of here. Just looking at all the things that are gathering above me. Is that all this place is? A giant underground pillager outpost? If that's the case, I'm all for it, but that's a little bit of a letdown if you ask me. How oh, nice to meet you. Come on, 
get hit. I must have defeated enough. Wait. Yeah, how is my backpack already full again? You know what? Iron axe enchanted with efficiency. Well, an axe is an axe. Anyone else find it annoying that this place is just kind of a giant letdown if you think about it? Here I came in promising a dungeon, and now I'm wandering through, basically, a uh, Woodlands Mansion. Well, I guess I can take the iron if you so insist. something up here you gotta be kidding me this could be accessed from above ground Sorry dudes, the moment you get hit with my attack, it's all over. I think I can take on some of the stronger bosses without much of a problem now. Come on, die. You know, I no longer bother trying to... If it wasn't clear from my Kagumon series, I don't really bother to try and... Constantly keep collecting backpacks when all truth.
Okay, come on. Don't worry, I'll get your confidence in a moment. But until then, please wait your turn. Now, where are you? Oh, there's two of you. Well, I guess it's not much of a problem considering I'm going upstairs anyways. Okay, this was neat. Not gonna lie. Still gonna go back downstairs into the basement and see what else I can loot up. I do like that. Hey, Alchemist. Say cheese. Do you guys got dragon's breath in here? No, strength and swiftness. And more chests. There's a mimic? I always wanted to face a mimic. This is just boring. Mimic, where are you? There you are. Come to equipped with a blast furnace and all the stuff I need. Might as well even take the charcoal. My inventory's full again, isn't it? Magic contents. Turn on that darn... I can hear him throwing him. Where is he? Ah, there you are. Sure, I'll take...
Time to go down this route. Not sure what this is supposed to be, but okay. Oh, it spawned on top of uh, what's it called? Um, mine shaft. That's what they're called. Vindicator should be up that thing down there. Take a left. Keep moving. One more right here. You know, you're a letdown. You know what? really shouldn't use fire magic. It may actually burn a trophy if I do get one. You know, that was just sad. He was even trying to show me off the new spell. I'm sorry for the constant dinging in the background. I could technically do something about it, but I'm going to be honest, I'm just a little too lazy to do it. That and I would have to take a few minutes away from it to rectify the situation so let me just go back up to the surface and see how far away from the base I actually am and I'll end the episode there I actually may come back down here and strip this whole entire place of all the stone bricks Okay, where are we? Huh. We're over there. Which brings up a point. Didn't I see another one of these structures? No, that's not the same thing. Okay. I am interested though, what is this over here? What did this bell look for the outside? Oh, it looked like some kind of giant crypt. Which in turns it wasn't that far off. The Fort of Death. Buy another skill point. Someone really wants to get my attention. Looks like another piece of my armor broke at one point. Hmm, the boots. It's a pain. Well, since the last time I made it, I have improved.
Okay, 500 that direction. It's only 300 blocks that way. So what's even further that direction? I guess what would be further than that would be either the village, maybe the graveyard. I doubt that they're pointing to the lava. And it's way too far to be that village. Is there anything under here? Thank you. Goodbye. Now let's turn around and kill all this ghost before it takes me out. Come on. What? You'd think a sudden turnaround wouldn't result in so much lag. Ah, there you are. Well, either way, I think this has been a productive episode. I took on what I think was a dungeon. What I hope was a dungeon, now that I think about it. Got a decent amount of loot, plenty of diamonds, plenty of ore. Plenty of emeralds. Should have enough diamonds and emeralds alone to build the farms. Well, once I actually get around to getting the proper resources. Almost home. I do find it a little bit reassuring that there is a place I can go to mine that I can easily have a pre made staircase back to the surface for. disappointed because I designed that whole rope ladder and I never got to use it. Okay. Let's start by getting rid of all this junk into my system I'll, oops nope don't need to get the backpack out in there okay
Come on, what's going on? I know you've been a bit glitchy throughout the episode, but nothing like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got only a clock in you. Either way. I'm getting to watch a bunch of resources come directly into my... Alright. Probably should open this. Uh, enchanted book. Yeah. I wanted to see what enchantment. Frostbite. Hmm. Slime balls, essence. Actually, that's an interesting question. Did I get any slime in this excapade? <laughs> nothing in you, nothing in you. Ah, here we are. Ender pearls, books, iron, gold. I see nothing to reason that I did get anything of... Nope. Didn't get any slime. That's a pain. Yeah, I still have a long way to go to build that to its completion. I may make that my in-between episode project. But again, I really do need to build a house. Which brings me back to the update idea. Still plan to build the wall. Which, again, I'm going to say, it's going to take a whole lot of stone. Can't decide if it wants to be just two or thing, uh, two or three thick. But I will build the wall. Turning this into a shipyard. Probably going to patch up this hole just like I did the one right here. Probably will keep the village, but I'll probably patch this up. Ultimately, I'm thinking right now I may just terraform this section and turn it into a river that continues to go through and build the mage tower right on this island like it has its own little moat with a bridge connecting the island. Going down, I'll probably build the path along here, build the bridge right here so I can connect in. Build another bridge right there. Ultimately, I do plan to turn this area right here into some sort of gladiatorial arena. Ultimately being able for me to kill whatever I want there. I'm sure there's some mod that will allow me to spawn in random creatures. Since I've already put my stuff all away, I guess there's no reason why I can't go quickly check the mine. Come on, load the terrain. see what that weird light show up on the top of this mountain is all about. It could be nothing, but it also could be something. It is this mountain, right? Yeah, mountain over there. If I spawn ridiculously close to one of those alpha dragon dens, I'll be surprised.
but dragons do come in three types. And I'm not referring to like me, small, medium, or large, I literally mean they come in three types. You have a thunder dragon, you have a fire dragon, and then you have the ice dragon. And I think this may be an ice dragon den that I'm approaching right now. Or it could just be a very pretty geode system that really should not be shown off in such a glorious way. Okay. Up. See Daisy. Nope. Ice Dragon. I believe all I need to do is right click. Hmm. Got a trophy skull without doing anything to earn it. Feel like I was a bit cheaty there. It's right over there. been wondering this. I know I could go off camera and do the exploration, and this is not me going on a hunt, so if that's all you guys are here for, feel free to go. Next episode, I really don't think I'm strong enough yet, but I may just come back here and go show the warden down in the deep dark what I'm made of. Now, who am I kidding? I probably should take on the Ender Dragon and stuff like that first. I'm the king of this world! Okay, nowhere... Ah, that explains it. It's just a giant fall. Leads into this geode. There has to be some. I'm not gonna lie, this is cool. Oh, hot, 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 hot. A banshee. Oh, come on. Sorry, banshee, I'm off the menu. So you can have really two of them? I refuse to accept that I have not earned a trophy by now. Another banshee's over there. Oh, 
Well, when in Rome and you need to get out, build. Is it just me, or is this build spell probably taking absolutely no mana from me? I could go probably all the way to build limit without actually having any problems with... No. That was one more thing I wanted to do during this episode. I did go and retrieve my helicopter, as you saw from the village. And I wanted to give it some a few upgrades. See, now it can stand on water. Now it has a chest in the back. And here's the one I absolutely thought was necessary. Now, if I dismount it, it goes directly into my inventory. Now, I still may actually just put it on a roof somewhere and put it, keep it at a helipad instead of my inventory or my backpack, but it's a, just a whole lot more fun if I can just escape it without needing to worry about leaving it somewhere and losing it. Something I think I did a few times with my airship in the last Goblin Wand series. Okay, with that said, though, I looked over there. I technically did not find Night's Dragon. Annoying, but I technically didn't. So with that said, I'm going to end the episode right here. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time, where I may just go over here and try and figure out what in the world that is. But until then, I can't wait to see you. Yep.